Okay, YouTubers, we're back with another unboxing. This time it is the Behringer BC Lav Go. Okay, so this is the BC Lav Go by Behringer. Professional grade lavalier microphone. Let's get stuck into it. Little soft carry bag pouch. Here we have the microphone and a little padded bag. Okay, what do we got here? Little windsock for the microphone bud. There's the microphone there. Here's our cable. Looks like it's about a meter long, maybe a little bit more, 1.2. It's a stereo plug here. You can see by the two rings. Little crocodile clip here to go on the lapel and a handy little clip there to put the cable in. Okay. To take the tension off the thing. Alrighty. Our windsock fits like so. I am going to use this lavalier mic of course to use in online lessons and make videos such as these without um, having to use here you can see i've got my shaw sm7b it's um just not as versatile and easy to move around with so i'm going to clip that onto my shirt something like this it's normally about a foot from the face, from your mouth, and you're away, and then your other end will go into your preamp. Now I have an adapter. Okay, adapter like so. Into here, and then into my pre, which is the SSL alpha channel in this case. Um, of course, I'm not going to get stereo off that. I would need a stereo splitter jack. Here we have a little adapter. Now this is cool because you can see the three rings on there are handy to have. That's for use with mobile devices like iPads and iPhones, etc. I actually had the road version of this first and i didn't like it would only work with uh, mobile devices i actually wanted the, the stereo plug like this so i could go straight into my pre's but i'm glad that this is adapters here if i did want to um record to my ipad on the go so uh you get that for nothing whereas with the the road models for instance you either buy one or the other but um, Behringer have thrown then it in for for free for a little unit that's about half the price of of the other road. So far, pretty impressed. It doesn't feel too flimsy. Bigger than I thought, actually. I thought the mic might be might be smaller. Not, not a lot to it. Let's get into a couple of um, sound examples and see how that holds up against the Shure SM7B. Okay, so let's do a couple of sound examples. So first of all, the gain structure. This is my usual vocal chain. I've got an SSL alpha channel going into a distressor by Empirical Labs. I've just got them hardwired. The alpha channel, I've got a standard gain structure. The variable harmonic drive is completely turned off. I've got the input gain at about four o'clock, so that's fairly cranked. Um, the output master, the limiter is at 12 o'clock that's 50%. 
there's no pad, there's no EQ, and there's no filter, no high pass filter, and the distressor is in bypass, then the signal is reaching logic. There are no effects plugins in logic, everything is completely flat. If we have a look here, there we go, just my monitoring plugin on the master bus. Alrighty, let's have a look at the SM7B first. This is the Shure SM7B. This is the Behringer Lav Go. Now the Behringer Lav Go, uh, its signal is much hotter. I've had to engage the pad on the alpha channel, which is usually around 20 dB, I think. I'm not too sure on that. Um, and of course I had to engage Phantom as well because this is a condenser microphone, whereas the SM7B is a dynamic microphone. So we're really comparing apples with oranges here. It's, it's not the same thing. They're not the same types of microphones. Of course, a lapel condenser is it's more omnidirectional. You're going to get a lot more of ambience inside the room. We're speaking directly into the Shure SM7B, a very directional mic with quite a low output. To be honest, it's used to taking screaming death metal vocals and amplifiers and things like that. You can compare the sound and qualities, but it's really not comparing a like for like microphone but it's just a point of reference here for my intents and purposes of what I intend to use this lapel mic for. I think it's great value for money. Thumbs up. This is the Behringer Lav Go.